All right guys, so here are the ingredients that we're gonna need for our goat curry today. We have some chopped scallions. We have a little bit of garlic and pepper paste that we made also with some culantro on the inside. So it's garlic, hot pepper, culantro with a little bit of water just to make a paste. I have all of my spices. I have some curry powder, some masala, as well as some freshly roasted ground jeera. I have two bay leaves and a little piece of a cinnamon stick just to give the curry a really nice warm flavor. And I also have some sliced onions. Over here on the side, I also have some salt to taste when we add it into the curry. I have some oil to cook my curry, and I also have my goat meat marinating in the corner. So this is what my goat meat looks like. I washed it out really well, made sure to clean off any excess fat, rewash it, and then I added on a little bit of green seasoning, some garlic powder, as well as some black pepper, and I just mixed it up together until everything was seasoned really well. All right, so I turned on my heat, and it's about on a medium, medium-low heat, and I'm gonna go in with some oil. And this is not actually to fry up the curry right now. We're actually going to steam the meat a little bit or seal the meat. So this way it can get out any of that rank water or natural juices that the meat has. So all I'm going to do is after I put that oil into the pan and it heats up slightly, I'm going to go in with all of my meat. And I think it's pretty important to do this when you're making goat or lamb or any type of dark meat just to get out any of the rankness from it. And along with that goat meat and the seasoned goat meat, we're gonna go in with the two bay leaves and we're also gonna go in with a little piece of a cinnamon stick. Again, that little piece is gonna really permeate the entire curry. We don't want too much or else it'll taste like too cinnamony and too like sweet. So we're just gonna go ahead and stir this up really well. And basically what we're looking to do is allow the goat meat to start springing or releasing its own natural juices and then for all of those natural juices to dry back up and for it to get just a little bit browned all over the outside. So while my meat is steaming and bubbling away, we're going to start to make the curry paste with all of the spices. So in my bowl here, I want to add in my masala, curry powder and the roasted ground jeera. And we're also going to go in with all of the fresh seasonings that we ground up. So that's the garlic, the hot weary weary peppers, as well as the cilantro with a little bit of water. Once you add that in, you just want to give it a mix so you can make a very thick paste. And if you need to add in a little bit of water just to loosen it up a bit, you can. Alright guys, so the goat meat has steamed out really well. As you guys can see, it's sticking up at the bottom a bit. All of the juices have been released and then they were um, reduced. So we're going to take them back and put them into the bowl that we seasoned them in before. All right guys, so we took the goat out and we have all of these little brown bits. Now all of that flavor we're gonna start to pick up when we add in our masala mixture. So I'm gonna go on with some more oil. All right everybody, since the oil is nice and hot, we're gonna go in with our curry paste. And we're gonna stir this up really well until all the spices cook out and they're no longer raw. And once you put them in, you want to keep stirring it up so you can pick up all of those little bits at the bottom of the pot. Since we added in all of the curry paste and it's starting to fry up really well, we're going to go in with some salt. And I like to add in salt into the spice paste so this way it can start to build up all of the flavors and make the goat curry um, taste really good. Alright, so this mixture has been sautéing for about 3 minutes and as you guys can see, all of those bits at the bottom have started to stick again and started to catch and the oil has started to release from the mixture. So we're going to go in with some chopped scallions and we're also going to go in with some sliced onions. And we're going to stir those around and cook them until the onions are cooked down just a little bit for about 2 minutes. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, all of the oil has started to separate even more. The onions have started to cook down a little bit and it's sticking even more at the bottom of the pot. So we're going to go in with our goat meat that we steamed. And we're just going to stir this up really well until all of the goat is combined with all of the seasonings and it dries down just a little bit more. Alright guys, so you see that the curry is sticking at the bottom or catching as we would say. All of those nice little brown bits are going to be picked up and soaked into our curry. And if you look very closely, you're going to see that all of the meat is seared with the spices. So that's your indication to start adding in some water. And if you like a really soft or tender goat meat when you're making curry, or if you want a harder goat meat, then you can go ahead and um, cook it as per your own preferences.
All right, everybody, so the meat has started to get a little bit tender, and the water is reduced just a little bit, so we're gonna go in with all of our potatoes. And adding in potatoes is optional. So we're just gonna cover it now, and we're gonna allow these potatoes to cook until they're tender as well, and then it'll be done. All right, everybody, so the potatoes are nice and tender now, and the goat meat is very soft, and the gravy is thickened up a lot. So at this point, it is done. We're gonna turn off the heat, and it is ready to serve. All right, so Auntie Chicha is going to give this goat curry a try and let you guys know how it tastes. Yummy. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video today, today, please go ahead and give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. And leave your comments down below.